Michigan's history at the Gator Bowl features two appearances. The first was in 1979 with Bo Schembechler as coach. Remember, John Wangler threw for over 200 yards, including a 30-yard TD score to Anthony Carter. But Wangler went down with a knee injury later, and a Lawrence Taylor-led North Carolina team upset Michigan 17-15. Back in 1991, with Gary Moeller at the helm, Desmond Howard scored twice on big pass plays from Elvis Gerback. The Wolverines romped to over 700 yards of offense as they bombed Ole Miss 35-3. The MVP in the game was awarded to the entire Michigan offensive line, and it was the last Gator Bowl game that featured a Big Ten SEC matchup. Jacksonville, obviously a beautiful city and a great venue for bowl games. And the Gator Bowl, obviously, Michigan, you just saw, has a history there. But so does Rich Rodriguez. As a player, tell me about your Gator Bowl experience. Well, as a player, it was my sophomore year, and we played Florida State. And it was an absolute rain downpour, and we all got wet, and we got beat. And it wasn't a very good experience from the game, but we loved the week leading up to it. Now, as a coach, you have experience in this game, besides this game as the coach at Michigan. Yeah, fourth time as a head coach. Been there a couple times as an assistant, and they just do a terrific job. They've got great experience running the bowl. They make it enjoyable for the fans, for the teams. And the, and the avenue or the, or the game atmosphere is tremendous. So I'm anxious to be back here and see what happens.